name is Dan Roosgaard. I'm a um, designer slash artist slash architect from the Netherlands and we're here in Austin, Texas in um, South by Southwest. Well, one of the reasons why I went to USA is because they have a quite uh, liberal agenda of merging the worlds of nature and technology. In the last year, I really became fond of biomimicry. So what can we learn from nature and apply that to the built environment, to roads, to public spaces, to our urban landscape? When you have a jellyfish deep, deep underwater, it creates its own light. You know, it does not have a battery or a solar panel or an energy bill. It does that completely autonomous. What can we learn from that? This is one of the first explorations where we merge the luciferin, the element which, which produces light in a firefly or in a jellyfish, merging it with existing plants. So these are plants which actually at night they glow, you know, without any battery, without any solar panel. And this is one of the first additions that were just uh, shipped to my uh, hotel room. And I'm really, really excited to, uh, to have one of the first in my hand. This is a very small version, which is produced in New York by, the, by a university there. And right now we're teaming up with them to make a really large one, like a tree, which glows at night, instead of standard street lighting. Yeah, and I mean, come on, that, that, that will be incredibly fascinating to have this uh, energy neutral, but at the same time, this very poetic landscape. Yeah. And I think in the end, technology will completely disappear. I don't think we'll be looking at screens so much again anymore in the coming 10, 15 years. So what happens when technology jumps out of the computer screen and, and becomes a part of the things that we wear, the roads that we drive on, um, that's I think where the real challenge lay.